If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is probably going to come out a little bit later because we're doing some IRL stuff. You guys know I don't focus fully on this game. Um, Guys, with the Herit, it's just a cheap card that they basically gave us that has some interesting variables around him, right? So 5-star, five 5-star five Herit. Uh, I am guessing... I mean, I guess you would either give him a... It'd probably be a Hunter. I have to say Hunter because the finishing needs to be higher at this point in the game. For sure. I mean, you could technically go with the Hawk. I mean, does he have, like, Aerial and stuff? Let's see. Long Ball Pass, Technical, Rapid Flare, First Touch, Relentless, Pings Pass, Tiki Taka, and Trickster. All of that with a 5-star, five 5-star, five right? Yeah, okay. Passing's already in a good area. The Dribbling is on the lower side, but he's average and lean. So, it prob most likely going to be a combination of Physical and Agile. Who knows, right? Maybe he surprises me like Balotelli. Who knows, right? Um, defensive stuff... On the card, uh, is in an okay area. Then physicality, 87 for stamina. It's just like a, a gift SBC, basically. Because the I think the SBC is like, what, an 83 rated squad? Let me see. Is it 83? I mean, the price looked like it was 83. Um, okay, cool. So let me go ahead and unlock the SBC and I'll show you guys. Well, we'll just be using him in the main attack anyways, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so people are saying to give him a dead eye. I, I get the I get the point of like don't get me wrong, guys. Listen, this is the thing about chemistry cells in this game. I get the point of giving him a dead eye, the passing and the shooting boost. But then the reason why I I, I always like go past that most of the time is because like pace is like pretty relevant, but I guess if you, you, if you don't really focus it too much, it's not like that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I guess it depends on the person. We put a little quick team together here. I actually did get Gundogan as a... Uh, I got him as a uh, player pick. He's like 290k-ish. Pretty was pretty good in game, but... Yeah. With this card, we'll use him 4-2-3-1. Striker. And we'll just see how he plays, man. He's 5-star, five 5-star. Five so he should be interesting, at least. <sighs> All right. Let us see how he plays. Watch Gundogan be an absolute beast. Offside. Man. Why you do this? Why you do this? Here we go, boys. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Here we go. Get that law pass off. Forced header. Oh, no chance. Listen, these guys on Footbin, like, you can give dead eyes as much as you want. I understand, like, the way that you boost the stats of the card, it makes sense and stuff, but... If you do that, you have to force certain areas of the pitch with him, for sure. Because forcing those runs when you go at an angle like that, like in this game, it's, you know. There we go. I'm a giddy cancels just don't work sometimes, eh? Ooh, nice try, nice try. Ooh, 
It's funny because he even has a tiki taka for that uh, play style, right? Ah. Uh, there it is, tiki taka. Ooh. Go on the inside. There it is. Elastico. Crook at the shot. Oh, it actually goes through his legs. <laughs> All right. That works too, bro. Beauty, we'll take that. First time. There it is. You make that run there. Do this. Does well. Shouldn't have done that skill move. That wasn't going to work out against a Virgil. Ah, good save. Actually assisted that pass in a way. That's good. Wara game style. If you watch my controller with Herod there, he actually assisted the pass. Because that's not where I intended to go. But he literally told me, eh, this is a better option. <laughs> Oh, dude, I, you know, it's funny, I shot, and then it just shot afterwards, and I'm like, I don't know if he's going to time it this time. Oh, he still has it. It's regular passes, they have that Tiki Taka that activates, eh? Interesting. You have to do the FIFA stuff because this guy is literally like forcing defensive AI on me. He's forcing defensive AI on me. So I have to do those FIFA mechanic things to force animations out of the defenders to score the opportunity. Because if I'm doing like regular stuff, they just follow you the whole time. Oh, bad mistake. We take those. Alright. Just from that, he's like, nope. Nice, good first time pass. Good first time pass. Still scores it. Still scores it. Guys, doing the skills against me, huh? That's the meta, eh? If you know he's gonna use manual goalkeeping in some sort of way, you just gotta do all the extra stuff, man. Gotta do it, cause I'm pretty sure he used it right there. All right. All right, we will take that. Actually, a pretty decent cross. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's gonna be a foul. Call me Anthony, boys. Call me Anthony. No! Oh! And okay. Alrighty then. Need finesse shot plus. See my boy Benzema there for those bad boys, huh? I guess finesse there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Good shot cancel. Nice pass. Oh man, and I knew he was going to commit that too. That's why I committed that rainbow flick. Ah, the acceleration touch wasn't going to be good enough there. Go! Too close! Okay! You, you really can't get too close to the goalies. It's either you have the chip shot tray and you can hit those, or you got to do a skill move around them. Like, when you get too close, it's it's really chalked, man. Look at this, though, eh? You can do this now. Eee! <laughs> you just hold L1, R1, and you're good to go, man. Oh, man. Kind of funny how I got the defensive play after that, too. Oh, he goes to the floor beforehand, and I still don't score. Oh, I was on a cookout right there for a second. Uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Do you guys see it like glitch hopping as I'm playing? It's like glitching, dude. See, right there. There we go. I mean, to be fair, it's one of those types of SPCs where it's like, you know, 35k for you to just like have fun with using the cam position or utilize the five star, five star capabilities. Like, it's just one of those types of SPCs where EA kind of like gives you the card quote unquote for free and you can have fun with, right? Like, you just have to, I would say you have to mainly use them as like secondary striker, specifically cam, because he does have the first, like, the, the Tiki Taka is nice, right? And I mistimed that one for sure. That's close. Oh, we still almost scourge. Oi. 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 No! All right. Hey, man, when people are parking that bus, you gotta... You gotta do the... You gotta do the thing, bro. You gotta do the thing. I gotta do the 1v1 Mortal Kombat.
T. Just be mindful of the left stick stuff with him. He's not. He's a combination of agile and physical. So. See? Shoots the ball well. Actually, surprisingly shoots the ball well, honestly. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be his thing for sure. We try those, but it's not gonna be not gonna be the vibes with him. Boys, give me those movimentos, huh? Oh, I don't think I registered it. Nope, it's GG's. See, shoots the ball well, man. Uh, that that part actually surprised me a little bit. I thought I was gonna feel significantly worse. Some cards when they have like low base finishing. When they strike the ball, like you could tell it's like kind of generic. But with him, he's like like it's those like straightforward strikes. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the it's a straightforward strikes. Like I, I even showed it when I was reviewing the Bruno Fernandez card that he does it as well. That's why I like that card a lot. Well, not that's not the only reason. He's pretty good at everything, right? A little bit of an extra pace, man. You never know where it gets you, right? Thing is, too, guys, is uh, be mindful of uh, future evolutions, too, right? That's always a thing to look after as well. No! No! War I'm at a gameplay. War I'm at a gameplay. <laughs> Oh, the passes, man. I can't make a pass there. That's just crazy, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, he's got to commit way more if I'm going to get those off. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want to see. I needed him to switch there to see if it would force the animation, but no chance. Penalty. Okay. All right, all right, all right. There it is. Another one. Oh, the fantasy upgrades come today. Probably today, eh? Rollful probably gets her things. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so um, yeah, guys, with Harrods, it's the type of card where, listen, if you use him in the cam position, he's going to be usable, right? You just have to be mindful of the pace because, I mean, I understand why people give him the dead eye, right? Because giving him that shooting boost, for some reason, his shots in game actually work sometimes. Like, I was actually surprised. I thought I was going to feel significantly worse, I'm going to be honest. Um... With the average and lean body type, it was to be seen, right, that uh, it was going to be a combination of agile and physical, but a lot of the players are nowadays. Like, you literally need to get someone like Paolo Dybala, uh, Messi, like those types of guys to be able to left stick dribble properly. Um, but he has five-star skills, and that's the thing that you work with the most. His passes were really good. Pings pass, long ball pass, um, first touch. Uh, well, the first touch and stuff, you know. First touch, I feel the most on like a player like Dybala. You know, I've, I've mentioned that in his reviews as well. But um, the Tiki Taka, you'll be able to utilize a lot. The Trickster, 
honestly, guys, like that Antony spin can really throw people off. It's not throwing people off because the defending feels a certain way, right? But like you can really like force animations out of the defenders for you to keep possession of the ball and then just to accelerate into specific spaces to score your opportunities. Uh, it's fun to do trickster when it comes to like holding the L trigger and doing like the flick ups and stuff into the strikes. But, you know, you have to get into like really, really obvious situations for that to really work out. Sometimes you might get lucky and his defensive line is not super far back and you can just flick up the goalkeeper. That does sometimes happen as well. So if you want to go for that, you definitely can. But yeah, it's just one of those types of SBCs that EA essentially gives you for free because honestly, there's not really a whole lot you do with the 83 rated fodder for a card that's going to be different and still playable in the meta of the gameplay, right? Like he's not horrible by any means. Um, you could definitely use him for sure. And he's going to do a decent job for you, right? For the price range that he's at, at a five star, five star capability. It, cards like this are perfect for people who are just getting into the game and they need like a League One attacker, you know? Or, you know, in his case, if you did, uh, what's his face? Unahi, I think. There's this guy who has a card too, but I don't know how well how well he plays. Look, Richardson, if you did Richardson's card, that's a Moroccan link just like that. But the card I'm thinking of is Unahi, who got a Future Stars, who... Does he not play for Marseille anymore? Oh, he does. Okay. So yeah, this one right here, if you were to Evo this one into, into the midfielder's one, then, you know, that's a direct link like that. So for the Moroccan people, they're chilling, bro. They got two cards that are meta enough in the gameplay, right? So... Not bad. You know, it's, it's one of those SPCs. It's like, it's like in the past when they gave us like Mangala and Oscar and those types of guys, you know? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.